What's up guys, it's CG. So this is going to be a thorough review of T-Rex by the House of Zoologist. First I'm going to give you guys a rundown so you have a general idea what the fragrance is about. Then I'm going to share how users rated the scent profile and their performance. My wife and I are going to share our impressions of it. And finally, I'm going to wear it and come back to give y'all my overall opinion on it. Without further ado, let's get this started. It's going to be hard to classify the scent of uh, T-Rex because there's really nothing else like it out there. Just imagine like band-aid smell with gasoline with things like gunpowder and smoke and things burning and ultimate masculine asphalt smell that's just artistically done and very out there and many people consider it to be a very challenging scent. Uh, it's very complex too as you can see with the notes that are broken down on their website. Out of 368 voters, it received an average rating of a 7.2 as far as how much users like the scent. And honestly, this rating is higher than I thought it was going to be uh, because it is so challenging. It is so out there. But I imagine also that people that find T-Rex are already at a stage in their fragrance journey where they've tried quite a few things because this is uh, people that have gone too deep, so to speak. Uh, you can see it's also polarizing. You got some zeros, some fours, some fives some seven some eights but overall half of people gave it an eight or above which again is surprising to me it is really challenging and out there for longevity i got an average rating of a 9.3 which is the highest rating i've ever seen on perfumo uh, yeah this stuff just lasts and lasts and lasts so hopefully you like it if you spray it on you because if not you're going to be stuck with it for a while uh, 50 percent of users voted it a 10 and all i can let you know is yeah, this is a, a 16 hour plus fragrance. For Siage, I got an average rating of a 9.0. And from my experience, I'll let you guys know that this stuff uh, actually can be used as a weapon. If somebody broke into your house, just throw the T-Rex against the ground and it will act as like a choking gas, like literally will choke somebody out. That's how strong it is. Like I had a two milliliter sample. I spritzed myself. And my dog across the room reacted to it by spazzing out and just rolling in the ground and loving the fragrance. Like he always uh, tries to run up to me and steal my fragrances. But from this one, uh, he just couldn't even move. He liked it so much. It's a very extremely, extremely strong fragrance. And I know people have told you about that with things before and you've agreed with them but this would blow your expectations it's so much so to me the scent profile of t-rex has three par primary elements to it and if you can imagine all three of these things together you're going to get pretty close to what it smells like the first element that i get from it is gunpowder and uh if you ever been to a gun range you know what i'm talking about the smell of the room the smell of your hands afterwards I definitely immediately got gun range and if you haven't been exposed to that I would just say almost the smell of a something burning like a slight rubber burning smell uh, that's element one the second element that I get from it is a bit of petrol which is like gasoline that smell of gasoline uh, some people love that smell other people hate it some it gives them a headache some like it but they don't want to smell like it regardless of your feelings on it uh, that gunpowder with that gasoline and the final element that to me is really just obvious and I can't get it out of my head is green olive like green olive juice the taste of green olive if you think of that pungency that like green olives have uh, that almost acidic quality and that flavor uh, that's to me like definitely in this so I, I get the uh, the gunpowder the gasoline and the green olive if you can imagine all of those together uh, you're getting pretty close to what the scent profile of T-Rex is. It's it's very pungent and almost fresh. I think the freshness of it is the saving grace. So I, I mentioned all these things and you might already be like, oh, hell, heck no. Uh, but there is a freshness to it and a uniqueness to it and it's blended well. So it actually does, in a sense, smell good. It doesn't really like smell horrible, but it does smell like something that could really easily induce a headache or offend people and as it dries down it, to me it doesn't really change too much like it pretty much stays the same as it does in the opening i would say the green olive aspect kind of dies down a bit and it becomes more of a gasoline gunpowder smell and uh, i smell it repeatedly throughout the day and I, it's not like i don't know if i'm addicted to it 
or if I'm just trying to decide whether or not I like it. I think it's almost a combination of both. Like there's an element of it that I find addictive and there's also an element of deciding on it. It feels like it's hard to decide because it's so artistically created. It's not derivative at all. It's like pure abstract fragrance. It's not even trying to be mass appealing in the slightest and it makes you almost a bit uncomfortable. So it feels like a really good piece of art that you just can't stop observing and, and feeling the emotions that come with it. And the emotions for me is just toxic masculinity. Like who would wear this? A dude with like long hair and a biker gang with like a lot of tattoos. That's who would wear this and who would definitely pull this off. Outside of that, I don't see too many scenarios, but that vibe, have, smelling that vibe, is interesting to me. This fragrance is so unapproachable and so a human repellent. The times I would wear this is when I'm in a bad mood and I want to sleep on the couch. Like, that's the vibe of it. <laughs> the last one. The best. Come on. Okay. T-Rex. Here we go. I already got some in my hand and I'm mad about it. I'm mad about it. Look at that. It's a lot. T-Rex is a lot, okay? We can say he's not like other boys at all. Very different. So the first thing that I get is a blast of like burnt rubber, burnt tires. Mixed in with a bunch of pepper black pepper the image that comes to mind who wears this either you are like the front guy at like a metal band or you're like some kind of weird guy that's into like snakes and insects which i love snakes but you know, it's that type of weird per not weird, I'm just saying maybe more edgy person with like an edgy haircut and dresses in all black and all of that. This is not for everyday use and I don't think it would fit every aesthetic either. You have to have a very particular aesthetic. Hard to place a, a age range it does have like a minty undertone in my honest opinion I don't think it's the best fragrance out there for a guy like I've said before the the way I rate things is if I am meeting this guy for the first time and this what he smells like I don't think I would be attracted to it personally so for that reason I give T-Rex a one no so surprisingly i actually like t-rex i just don't know when i would ever wear it like i enjoy it the freshness of it but because it projects like nuclear and lasts like 12 hours i just i can't even see myself like spritzing myself in the evening for personal enjoyment because i know it's gonna like suffocate the room so because of that I, it's really not for me and it's just too strong honestly like it's overwhelming i do like the smell and if it was closer to the skin and more subtle and uh, I wasn't worried about choking out my wife and my dogs and all that, then I probably would have a decan of T-Rex. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm curious what y'all's opinions are in the comments. Also, subscribe for future content. Peace out. Reek.